Hey everyone, this is Bashan here, and on the screen, besides me, and just using this fursuit head, are questions I've gotten through Facebook and for Affinity. Of course, I'm going to start with this one from Kevin Hill. No profile photo available, and it's on the topic of the furry fandom. He wrote three messages after I said hello. Then there's the page you see on screen, which is also the name displayed on the top right hand corner of this video in one. Where it says copyright 2015 versus 2009 production. I was going to put that in the lower right hand corner, but I figured if I put this to YouTube, it's going to be blocked by a little icon in the lower corner. So, Kevin Hill writes, I have a question. My mom doesn't like the furry fandom, and she doesn't like me being a furry. She only focuses on the stereotype, though. What am I supposed to do? When I try to tell her about it, she just says, I need to look it up. Well, Kevin, it's okay that your mom... Like, focuses on the stereotypes. Like, tell her, like, the honest truth in your own way. Say something like, sure, most, I'm sure there's some people in the furry fandom who focus that on the stereotypes, which would be, well, I'm going to use the safe word in case there's children watching this. Yes, Y I double S, which, if there's any children watching this video, yes is basically when one animal really likes another animal so much that they kiss and do other stuff to each other and little little ones come out of the female unless it's a LBGT couple not the traditional couple like a male and a female so I am going to type that to him once that this video is over and after this video is posted. So now we go to another Facebook question from Miguel Rios. This is from my TMI Tuesday post, which went public yesterday, which is the 21st of July, 2015, I almost said 2013. Posted six, no, eight minutes after I posted that post. He asked, who's your favorite furry artist? Well, it kind of depends on, like, what you mean. My favorite furry artist that I've seen in person. That would be... Oh, there's so many. If talking about video-wise, Shyakoff of Differently or the Lucifer. I'll put their link in his... I'll put his... FA in the description box below, and I'll put this in my YouTube channel 
as an annotation somewhere or maybe in the description box below for like actual art like this like drawing the art I would say again meeting in person Trish Kebab, Rat Girl, and CC Fluffy. I actually know them. They're local friends of mine, but they live like at least a half hour south of me. I live in Stockton. They live in Modesto. It takes 30 minutes to get there. They have a wonderful house. Well, the only time I've been to the house was December 2014. Now, for furry artists I haven't met, but want to meet, uh, music-wise, nice to singing dog. He got a version 2.0 head, which kind of does look better. His ears are a bit shorter. I kind of did like the big ear look. The eyes on the head did improve because they're kind of like realistic eyes. And plus, you can maneuver his mouth better. And I'll get to that Facebook notice later. And now we're going to Fur Affinity. This is a private note which I'm showing to you from Hobie, W H O B I E. You can see it spelling right there. And of course, don't mind all this information or these notes. Well, we actually wrote two questions. First one, what was the Sona's personality? Oh, personality. Well, if you haven't seen the Fur of Fantasy submission that Tom Nering fired me for me out of random from his Patreon raffle, which I may post his Patreon page in the description box below. Mm. He is, well, I am basically a hockey fanatic. I have a custom jersey with my full name, Washam, and the number 14 on the sleeve and on the back because it's a stadium series version jersey. Because in the San Jose Sharks were making the design prior to the 2015 National Hockey League Core by Stadium Series, which was in Santa Clara, California at Levi Stadium. They didn't want to put the numbers on the front for some reason. Same with the Los Angeles Kings. Or as they would say in the UK, Los Angeles, but everybody has their own way of saying it. And when hold on, I'm gonna get it on screen. When basically you can tell by on the screen that there's a fan of the fan of the spark. And if you can't tell by the poster behind me to my right, which would be to your left, only the bottom two teams are the teams that I'm in I'm a fan of, but let's see, the bottom team, the Adelanda Thunder, used to be called the Stockton Thunder. Or the under end explained. So, 
basically the ECHL team for Stockton was the Stockton Thunder. We operated from 2005-2006 season to the 2014-2015 season. And we've been gone ever since. I got a photo with Eric Kenny, who used to go by the name Thunderman, but now as of this October, he will go by the name Heat Wave. And I was getting to touch it. When I hear this, Good kind of ballistic, because of course that's when the shots score a goal. Luckily, when I was at the stadium series with Mero in February, I did not have this person hand on the whole first seat in my possession, and I later figured found out like around late March or early April that. Levi Stadium does not allow costume to put masks just like this. So it was like perfect timing. I actually got this full first seat delivered to my house by the United States Postal Service on April 1st, 2015. It was in the afternoon. I don't remember the exact time, but it was the 1st of April, 2015. And my Regular tour poster worker. We got finished putting it on the mailboxes with the one house to my left, which would be to the right. Basically, I'm like very, my house is close to the mailbox. We got done putting the regular toy now in the mailboxes. We pulled up in front of the house and I was like so freaking blessed that everything, including the right hand paw that's now missing, he all came safe and if you haven't noticed, my upper teeth moved. And that's not supposed to happen. And the second question, what are his likes and likes? I believe we'll be meant to write what are his likes and dislikes. Well, for likes, just like any first shooter, I like to play children. And I like hockey, I like baseball, but my local minor league baseball team not let me pursue inside because the destination manager said the costumes. And it's good to ask before you pursue. So, I basically carry the handle here, I set it in the NPC X to me. Unless there's a person who's sitting in the seat next to me. And of all the times, well, the one time I thought this person had with me, not having it on, and then the person next to me, it's been a good luck charm. So, that is basically all the questions for the second edition of the Q&A. I will write up my responses. And if you haven't seen me in Zabu's video, 
go to this submission. I right, made the thumbnail, by the way. Uh, yeah, my human right here, which is this one. Barely shows in the thumbnail, but I can actually click the link right here. I'm not going to click it because this is going to YouTube, and I don't want YouTube to get on my furry butt for using copyrighted material and stuff. I actually went over that in my digital furcon panel on 16th of May 2015 between the hours of 2 and 4 p.m. Pacific time. The timing of my panel is actually perfect because it gave me enough time to get my stuff up to my room, get my first food ready, go down to the first parade area, and the rest is Furcon history. So, if you want to subscribe to the channel, be sure to do so by clicking the subscribe button down below. Come find me on for a fantasy. If your discussion is advised, you can also find me on Jimmy that will be suitable for some viewers. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, and you can actually text me. But if you want to commission me, you can just visit me by email. Flash on 2014, that's Flash on 2014, and I will complete step by step process on how to commission you. So email me with the information provided, or the information required, and tell me what type of commission you want. If I approve your commission, I'll get to work on it, I'll send you an invoice. You'll pay me within seven days, I think about it. So I'm going to seven for a second. And then, if you pay within the seven days, between within the week of the invoice, then I'll get to work on the commission. It's going to be traditional. Aren't commissioned right now because no. Drawing <laughs> tablet. Hold it. Work for work with my laptop. And if I deny your commission, don't get very, very mad at me. When you commission me, you are going to my time to come. In terms of condition, in terms of service. If you want to commission an artist, you're going to their contract. And I should start rumbling on. So, you go to the channel, I click on the start button below, or the icon on the right hand corner of the screen, or in the video. You can also find me on Facebook, or if you're in the TV, 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 or if uh, so, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, social, media, media, art, and just the little heads up for my Bay Area people. I will be in Monterey tomorrow. The 23rd of July 2015 in the afternoon or evening, and I'll be posted outside the Monterey Bay Aquarium, looking much better than that. So, if you're in the area, find me, snap a photo of me, and tag me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And I will post my favorites onto my Facebook, which is facebook.com slash slash pound 2014. I will see you in the next video, or maybe in the next video.